after nine years of Modi government has been taken into 14 facets of policy making ranging from infrastructure to foreign policy to social justice. In short, this is the most successful leadership in this country of India after independence, where the story is of serving the undeserved, empowering women, providing opportunities to the youth and celebrating the farmer. It's a story of New India. If we look at the list of achievements, it would be uncountable. But if we look at just one of the basic thing also, from independence till 2014, the expenditure on infrastructure projects was only 2 lakh crore. But after our Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji has taken over, the Modi government has spent more than 7 lakh crore in the last 8 years in the infrastructure development of Northeast alone. So you can imagine how much is being spent on infrastructure throughout the country. For the Northeast, before 2014, the number of flights that used to come into the Northeast was approximately 900 in a year. It has increased to 1,900. You can see the quantum jump of people who are flying in and flying out, which means that the economic strength of the Northeast has increased a lot. During the UPA government, there was something called the Look East policy. To now, Act East policy. From education to healthcare, the facility to the opportunities, everything has increased exponentially. There is a model called Hira, which Hira means diamond, precious, H-I-R-A, the model of the Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji. H stands for highway, I for infrastructure, R for railways, and A for airport has boosted the development of Northeast exponentially. The AFSA, Armed Forces Special Act, has been withdrawn from more than majority part of Northeast, and in the context of it has been withdrawn from the 15 police stations of Nagaland. AFSA existed for approximately 60 to 70 years consistently in our region. Whether we may like it or not, it is only the Modi government that has tried to bring it down, not only in Nagaland, but in the rest of the Northeast also. <coughs> now, in comparison to the UPA government, Funds for the development of Nagaland have been increased four times under the NDA government 2014 till present as compared to the tenure 2004 to 2014. If we compare the 10 years of the UPA rule and the nine years of the Modi-led government, the budgeted allocation has increased by four times. The 15th Finance Commission has given Nagaland a grant of rupees 4,773 crores in 
which is significantly higher than the rupees 1283 crore released in 2009-2010. That was the 14th Finance Commission. <coughs> In the year 2020-21, special assistance in the form of grant in aids of rupees 219.15 crore was released to the state. 3.50 lakh Jandan accounts have been opened for banking and financial inclusion of people in Nagaland. There is a 74% reduction in terrorism incidents in 2021 as compared to 2014. Similarly, the deaths of security personnel and civilians have also come down by 60% and 84% respectively during this period. Our government is doing the work of withdrawing AFSPA in a phased manner. Nagaland is a leader among the northeastern states in undertaking various citizen-centric initiatives and focusing on the development of marginalized communities. Pradhan Mantri Vandan Yojana, PMVDY, has been successful in Nagaland. This scheme has benefited the lives of around 5,700 members associated with it. The scheme has helped in the empowerment of tribal communities in Nagaland. <clears throat> Nagaland is emerging as an example to the world for its focus on indigenous entrepreneurship and youth welfare. A pilot project for skill development of cane and bamboo artisans of Nagaland have been operationalized under recognition of prior learning, RPL, a component of Pradhan Mantri Koshal Vikas Yojana, PMKVY, the project aims to enhance the skills of over 4,000 craftsmen and artisans. The scheme will enhance the skill and technical proficiency of artisans as well as promote traditional and local crafts of cane and bamboo artisans. The Northeast Rural Livelihoods Project, NERLEP, has improved the livelihoods of tree-like households in 11 districts of Mizoram, Nagaland, Tripura and Sikkim. Indira Gandhi Stadium in Kohima has been designated as Kelo India State Center of Excellence in three disciplines of wrestling, archery, and boxing to upgrade the existing sports facility of the state to world-class level. After a gap of more than 100 years, Nagaland got its second railway station along the Dhansari Shokovi railway line in the form of Shokovi railway station. 82 kilometer long broad gauge route from Dhansiri in Assam to Zabza in Koima of railway line is being built by the government. Amazingly, recently 15 national highway projects have been inaugurated in Nagaland. The length of this national highway project is about 266 kilometers and involves a cost of about 4,127 crores. That's only for Nagaland. The Ministry of Development of Northeastern Region is currently implementing various schemes in Nagaland since 2015. Ministry of Donair has completed 53 infrastructure projects in Nagaland as in, and in the process of completing 142 projects in Nagaland. <coughs> Under the Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyanan Yojana, free ration is provided to about 14 lakh beneficiaries in the state. Under Jal Jivan Mission, tap water connections have been provided to 2.18 lakh 58% coverage households in Nagaland. Under Ayushman Bharat, 3 lakh people have got direct benefits. A total of 54,636 houses were sanctioned in Nagaland under Pradhan Mantri Awaz Yojana, out of which construction work of a total 16,574 houses has also been completed. Under the Pradhan Mantri Kisan Saman Nidhi Yojana, the central government is doing the work of providing financial assistance of Rs. 6,000 to the farmers. 2.1 lakh farmers have already have also benefited from this scheme.
इन नागरिकों अंडर द प्रधानमंत्री ग्राम सड़क योजना स्कीम ए टोटल ऑफ 4,382 किलोमीटर ऑफ रोड्स वर सैंक्शन इन नागालैंड टिल 2021-22 at a cost of rupees 1414 crore out of this construction of 4157 km roads has also been completed at a cost of rupees 1180 crores under pmgsy 100 crore investments for the ayush healthcare sector in nagaland ayush hospital in koima is already inaugurated One Ayurvedic college will be developed with 70 crores at Longling district. The national highway network in the state today has been extended from 880.68 km in 2014 to 1547 km. Just recently, rupees 3253 crore for highways in Nagaland. Earlier 55 works of a length of 1063 km at the cost of 11711 crore was approved 667 km were added to the nh network in nagaland during the last 6 years a growth of nearly 76% ayushman bharat 10.74 crore families all over the country and 2.3 lakh eligible families here in our state pradhan mantri awas yojana 3.6 crore all over the country 55000 houses here in nagaland swachh bharat 11 crore toilets in nagaland 1.4 lakh toilets pradhan mantri garib kalyan an yojana 80 crore in the country 14 lakh beneficiaries in nagaland in ujwala yojana 9 crore cylinders in the country and in the state 65000 cylinders this is just a gist of how the narendra modi government has been working for these nine years truly you can see there seva susashan or garib kalyan seva is to serve susashan is governance and garib kalyan is empowering the poor truly lift up according to its name